going on guys right here playing another game of rogue company this is honestly one of my favorite games out right now it just was released this and this done. game is sick so we're gonna start off the game of pretty much what you would consider to be search and destroy in call of duty but it's called demolition in this game uh, you get one life you right currently I'm on the defensive side and it's the first team to seven to win for you guys that aren't familiar with this um, it's a great game guys $14.99 to pick it up online right now on Epic Games so hop online type in rogue company into Google and just link your uh, you know your account so you can get the game and shit for $14.99 or else you can get the $30 version which is a little bit different but let's get down to it guys I hope you enjoy the gameplay and uh, yeah let's do it Come on. There we go, let's go. Third person shooter, guys, and we'll pick up the win in round one. Let's go. Let me just resize this window real quick. Okay, window is resized and we're good to go. Let me buy something real quick. Let me buy an SMG. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize it was so out of frame. My apologies. Let's get it. Ooh, with the quick revive, let's go. No, I fucking wasn't paying attention at all. I don't know why I ran out like that. Super dumb of me. Push. Ah. So right now we're up two eliminations, two assists, and one down, which isn't too bad. But uh, let's. Very nice. And we're gonna get cloaked so nobody can reveal us through the walls. This game, honestly, is everything I would love for the next Call of Duty to be. Um, just in first person. <laughs> and I love this game, honestly. It plays so fucking well. The bullets always hit. E everything of this game is just flawless. And we get the W. Let's go.
three eliminations, two downs, two assists so far. Twenty-five thousand five hundred in cash. Let's uh, let's upgrade this, upgrade that, and that. Okay. So now we've removed the end on sight speed penalty, and we've also upgraded our gun to have better hip fire accuracy. I don't even remember if I did the second upgrade, which gives you more damage range. But if I did, that's clutch, because that second upgrade usually helps out a shit ton. Move here. I love the idea of a third-person game, honestly, just because of the way this game plays. Like, I love to lean around the corners. I love... I just love the strategic play style that is needed to play third person. And to disarm the bomb. Bomb neutralized. And well we win. done, Rogue. Four downs, four uh, four eliminations, three downs, two assists, thirty-seven five in cash. Playing good right now, honestly. Feeling pretty good. Kid on my team right now. This kid, Cal Jacob, is carrying right now. I mean, we're playing four v three, which is kind of stupid, but in this game, I don't know if that really matters, honestly, because it takes. I mean, I played a 4v2 earlier and lost. Like, the, the two kids went off. They were just killing us. But uh, it's super fun. And I really do suggest this game to anybody that's looking for something fresh. Um, it's so nice to be in a third-person shooter that's actually competitive. This is Just so you guys know, every mode in this game is 4v4. It's pretty much a strictly competitive game. And that's what makes it fun. Um, there is a lot of shit-talking. There is some toxic behavior. But, hey, what are you going to do? That's all part of uh, video games. And it's part of what makes it fun to play this game, honestly. Watching B Alleyway over here. Just spotted an enemy near the back of their spawn B side. Let's go, get up. Let me revive my teammate real quick. See, this is what I love about third person, see? You can get angles and make gunfights so much more challenging for your opponent, things like that. Good play, good play. Let's go. Barrel roll. Up four to one, guys. Um... I believe it's one more round of defense, and then we'll switch to offense. I don't know if this map is hard. This is actually my first time playing this map, so um, I don't know if it's harder to play defense or offense on this map, but usually all the maps are defensively based, and it makes it more of a challenge to push the, the bomb sites. And I think that's what makes the game have that competitive edge to it like you have to somewhat strategically move around the map you can't just you know push up and do normal tactics like you would in other shooters you really have to think about what you're going to do or you will get killed because just running out in this game i've noticed will get you fucked up Been 
Spotted. Here we go, bomb down now. This is what I do. I'm fine, thanks. Lethal out, need help. Enemy spotted. Not yet. No enemies remaining. Let's go. Well done. Five one. Simple dubs, man. Simple dubs. Five eliminations. I'm in the last That's place that. on my team, but you don't really have to play to super hard to get dubs in this game. All right, so now we're on the offensive side. So, uh, damn, they took my operator. Uh, mm, let's do this guy. His name's Anvil. Fuck it. Super curious to see how this works out. I like this game too because it gives you time. It's not a super rushed by period. You get to think about what you want to do. Everything is thinking. Especially when this game gets more competitive in the future. And it's not just people running around and things like that. Like I've been in certain lobbies where kids are calling out already. Stay behind me. And we'll the build of this down. game is just beautiful. So I'm super excited to see where we go in a few months from now with this game. Honestly, shout out to the developers of Rogue Company. They absolutely killed it and made such a banger of a game. Let's teabag. All right, so we're gonna use this as a pistol round. Play it like Counter Strike. Oh, and this character does have a deployable shield. Each character usually has like a uh, an ability. So mine is the deployable shield with Anvil. Uh, another one is to reveal enemies through walls. Um, I don't know all the abilities. Obviously, I haven't played every character yet. Um, But see, right now we have a aggressive B push. Attack ish. This kid's gonna come around the back. Let's go. Last round and strong. So we're up six one. Honestly, this game has been pretty much a sweep. Right now we're at seven eliminations, six downs, two assists, one revive, sixty five k cash. So we're gonna buy the I'll maw. Nice. We'll buy the active protection system, and we'll buy the executioner. Seeing that this is the last round, we're kind of going to go all out here. But I do have the bomb this round, so let's do it. Alright, more teammates went towards A this round, so we'll take it A. Bombs armed. See it through. Three V two. Let's go. 7 1, baby. 7 to 6, sis down. 2 assists, 1 revive. So, pretty solid gameplay. Only 2 deaths. And, uh, can't complain too much about that, guys. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel a shit ton. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. And,. Yeah, like I said, this is everything I want the next Call of Duty to be just in a third-person shooter. And I'm sorry, I want Call of Duty to be a first-person shooter like this. If the bullet reg in Call of Duty was as good 
as this shit, people would never stop playing. Real talk. But yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.